our country india india is the cradle of one of the oldest civilizations of the world our country is quite diverse which is reflected in the diversity of language culture and religion india also has a great variety of physical and man made features for its geographical expanse it is truly called as subcontinent in the north it is bounded by the himalayas in the west by the arabian sea in the east by the bay of bengal and in the south by the indian ocean location and extent our country covers an area of 3.28 million square kilometers area wise it is the seventh largest continent in the world whereas population wise india is the second most populous country in the world a little over 80% of the land is inhabited by the people their agricultural fields roads buildings or grazing grounds the north south extent of india from kashmir to kanyakumari is about 3200 kilometers and the east west extent from arunachal pradesh to kutch is about 2900 kilometers the diversity of landforms is exhibited by the great indian deserts lofty mountains the northern plains the coasts and islands india is located in the northern hemisphere the tropic of cancer runs about midway through the country from south to north mainland of india extends between 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north latitudes from west to east india extends between 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east longitudes the local time changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree difference in longitude so the time difference between the westernmost point in gujarat and the easternmost point in arunachal pradesh is about 2 hours however for the sake of uniformity the local time of 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude is taken as the indian standard time ist it is 5 and a half hours ahead of greenwich mean time gmt neighbors there are seven countries that share land boundaries with india they are pakistan afghanistan china nepal bhutan myanmar sri lanka and bangladesh indian subcontinent is constituted by five countries namely india pakistan nepal bhutan and bangladesh the largest country of the subcontinent in india which has an area of 32 lakh square kilometers approximately it has a land frontier of 15200 kilometers and a coastline of about 7500 kilometers indian union is made of 29 states seven union territories it is notable here that national capital region of delhi is now considered as a separate state with its own assembly vidhan sabha the southernmost point of indian mainland is kanyakumari or cape comorin the point where the three surrounding seas meet but the southernmost point of the indian republic is indira point which is located in the andaman and nicobar group of islands physical divisions the five broad physical divisions of india are the following a the northern mountains b the north indian plains c the peninsular plateau and the indian desert d the coastal plains e the islands the northern mountains it consists of the himalayan ranges and its extension in the west and in the east the himalayan mountain system extends between river indus in the northwest and river brahmaputra in the east himalayas are the young fold mountains and they largely consist of sedimentary rocks the himalayan mountains are divided into three main parallel ranges the northernmost is the great himalayas or himadri the world's highest peaks are located in this range middle himalayas or himanchal lies to the south of himandri the shivalik is the southernmost range the himalayas are the highest mountains of the world with mount everest as the highest mountain peak 
8,848 meters. The North Indian Plain The North Indian Plain extends over 2,500 kilometers from River Satluj in the west to the Brahmaputra in the east. This is the most extensive and fertile region of the Indian subcontinent. This low-lying region of alluvial deposits supports the highest numbers of human population. Three large rivers, River Indus in the west, River Ganga in the central part and the Brahmaputra in the east deposit their silt and have formed this fertile alluvial plain. The plain is made of two great river systems, the Indus and the Ganga. River Indus originates from Lake Mansarovar in Tibet. It flows westward and enters Jammu and Kashmir and then towards Pakistan. It has five main tributaries namely Satluj, Bias, Ravi, Chenab and Jhelum. Most of these river basins now lie in Pakistan. Indo-Gangetic Plain is a vast plain extending from Ambala in the west to Assam in the east. River Ganga originates from the Gangotri glaciers in the Himalayas. River Ganga is a combined stream formed by the joining of Bhagirath and Anaknanda at Dev Prayag. Another river, Yamuna, meets it at Ilahabad and the confluence of the rivers is known as Prayag. The tributaries joining Ganga from the south are Son, Betwa, Chambal and Damodar. River Brahmaputra rises very close to River Indus and flows eastwards parallel to the Himalayas in Tibet. In this part, it is called Sampo. It enters Assam and flows through Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, it joins Ganga forming a triangular landmass called Delta before falling into Bay of Bengal. It is the fastest growing delta in the world. The Peninsula Plateau and the Indian Ocean The plateau of Peninsula India is surrounded by the Arabian Sea in the west, the Bay of Bengal in the east and the Indian Ocean in the south. The Vindhya Ranges or mountains divide the plateau into two main parts. The Peninsula Plateau is triangular in shape. This is a region with numerous hill ranges and valleys. One of the oldest ranges of the world the Aravali Hill borders it on the northwest side. Apart from the Vindhyas, Satpuras are the other important ranges. The Deccan Plateau is flanked by the hill ranges on the west and east, known as the Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats respectively. The Western Ghat is also known as Sayadri. The height of the hill ranges decreases from south to north. The plateau as a whole gently slopes west to east, the Nilgiris are the meeting point of the western and eastern ghats, Lakshadweep Islands, the coastal plains. The peninsula plateau is surrounded by the coastal plains on the west and east. To the west of western ghats lies a narrow plain called West Coastal Plain. It extends from the Gulf of Kutch to Kanyakumari. The northern part of this plain is called Konkan, while its southern plain is called Malabar. In the Malabar region, there are many lagoons. In the western coastal plain, the two west flowing rivers, Narmada and Tapti, option, Tapi, form narrow estuaries. On the eastern side, the coastal plain is broader because of the formation of deltas by the four rivers flowing. In Tamil Nadu, it is called the Koromandal coast and further in north, it is called Northern Sirka, the islands. The two major groups of islands are the two groups of islands are Lakshadweep in Arabian Sea off the coast of Kerala and Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal. Lakshadweep Islands are formed by the deposition of a microscopic species of coral polyps. This group of islands looks like a horseshoe in shape. Many islands in the Andaman and Nicobar group of islands were formed due to volcanic eruptions. They are bigger in size and are mountain tops of submerged mountain ranges. Many of the islands on both sides are uninhabited. 